time has arrived. I'm coining it. Yeah, it's called the emergence. Yeah, mm. what we're going to do is what's going to happen is there's going to be a spacecraft that lands and these aliens are going to emerge from it. So I'm calling it the emergence. That's you what's happening. And you should copyright that, man. That, uh, there it is. That, no, that, 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 that sounds like that. It sounds like a Netflix series. Uh, <laughs> the emergence. Yeah. yeah. So in the next uh, day, in fact, tomorrow, um, well, what's today? Today's the 8th in the US. So on the 10th in the US, we've got Dr. Stephen Greer with his Disclosure 2.0 coming up. So 12th, 12th isn't it? Oh, the 12th, is it? I thought it was 10, 11, 12. I thought it was over a three-day thing. I, thought it was I think there's a couple like... of conferences, and then the, uh, um, the oh, okay. main event is on the 12th on Monday, your time. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, so we've got um, Disclosure 2.0 happening, lots of whistleblowers coming out. So make sure you check out Dr. Stephen Greer. Just go and Google that, and you'll see his website, SeriousDisclosure.com. Uh, head over there, and you'll be able to find the links to all of that as well. Don't forget there's a new movie coming out as well called The Lost Century where he puts together the history of it all and shows you behind the curtain, the unspoken truth, if you like, of what's really been going on with all of this, the $2 trillion hole in the American budget. Where's it all gone? It's gone into all of these black projects that the government doesn't even know about. So the task force investigating UAP in the United States government doesn't know about the uh, the downed craft that we have. And we know earlier in the week we reported on that. Um, I just want to show the <clears throat> reaction video here. It goes for a minute or two. So let's let's take a look and um yeah just listen very closely to the way the police officer is reacting here because i think he's the biggest skeptic of all and he's like these cops have got like way more important things to do than run around chasing little green men that have fallen from the sky so you can see that my view is i watched it a couple of times my view is that the police officer is genuine and he's there's a bit of giggle factor in there but he's like he's giggling because he can't believe it's happening not because it's a hoax so let's have a look Almost midnight on May 1st, when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's a, there's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Someone calls 911, reporting two large figures in their backyard. Uh, no, I'm still nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he's sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, I've only thought of shooting star. Then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, mm -hmm. it's more than an hour yeah, after that see? bright light. Oh, officers meeting up with the caller yeah, and his fight. family. What'd you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you yeah, see anything you land see. in your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. I Police know. walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question. But did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If, they, if, those, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is quite weird, Brian was saying, during, as we're watching this story. Now, we've been in, been in contact with the family in that video, and as you heard in that 911 call, they seem very reasonable mm -hmm. and honestly quite scared, as you heard them in the call. No, um, they don't seem impaired in any way. And whatever crashed by the time the police got there was gone. But sources say that there's really no dispute. Something was in their yard exactly what? All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... I shouldn't poke I shouldn't poke fun of it. Folks, if you look down in the description of this video, I'm gonna give you a link, or well, I've given you a link already, to a picture. Yeah, and the picture is an exclusive <laughs> it's an exclusive photo of um, the UFO and where it landed here. I'll show you the picture. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it. <laughs> Somebody went out there and drew a circle on the ground and went, yeah, man, that's where the UFO was. Click, they took a photo with their phone and they sent it. And no joke, somebody has reported on that. So part of the problem with this is um, it has the giggle factor associated with it, right? We've seen plenty of shooting stars and meteors come into the Earth's atmosphere and, you know, they burn up into different colours. I've seen green ones, I've seen blue ones, I've seen all sorts of different ones that have actually happened. I've seen um, things come in at scale because where, where I live here right on the coast, um, sometimes on a on a really really dark night with no moon you you can see satellites you can see the space station you can see all sorts of things right because it's so dark where we are and i've seen uh, a shooting star and meteor so big that you know i'm almost gonna do the duck and cover drill because that's what a nuke would look like if it was coming at us um, and i've seen these things break up into the atmosphere at what seems like low level and so what you're seeing there in that particular one is it's coming down. And the reason it's so bright is because it's lower in the atmosphere, right? And that's, that's what happens. So when you see the streak across the sky, it's high up in the atmosphere and it's skimming across the top of it. But when it's coming down into the atmosphere, that's when you're seeing the colored versions of them like that. And we've all seen footage. There's, a, there's famous footage of a, a meteorite um, in Russia and it's in Siberia. And these people are driving along in their car and, and it goes, shh, and it flies across the sky in daytime. And then it hits the ground and like, boom, it's like a big yeah. nuke that goes off because the force of what's actually mm. happening, you know? So it's a common occurrence that you see these things, but it's not such a common occurrence when somebody says there's people in the backyard or really big figures in the backyard. I don't know. Is this the emergence that we're seeing or is this just being something that's in the news because of uh, what's happened in the last week? I don't know. Well, I feel very confident in predicting that we are going to see a lot more of these stories. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> uh, especially after next Monday, these stories are going to be a dime a dozen. Everywhere. They're going to be everywhere. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't believe any of it. Oh, oh, you're the skeptic. I'm the skeptic. Not, uh, 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 even uh, David Grush who came out, you know, the, the, the big, you know, he seems like a reasonable guy. I mean, he's, uh, uh, he seems like he knows what he's talking about. But all of his evidence is hearsay. I've talked. Yeah, it's to all him. third party. I reread yeah. that story and re-looked at it a couple of different ways. And yeah, he's saying that I had somebody tell me that somebody said that somebody had. And it's like, yeah, yeah that's awesome, man. I know that stuff too. Like, so. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see uh actual green corpses or something i want i want to see something uh otherwise and until that happens i think this is uh, i can't uh, i'm gonna remain skeptical i'll try to stay open-minded but look at uh, you trusting but verifying uh yeah well done you, you listen to ronnie reagan his advice uh, yeah, was that's like right. <laughs> it was good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. look uh, i think um the, the the amount of evidence that's out there that there is aliens is overwhelming um the sightings and the video footage and it's the well, rabbit hole oh, that... oh, 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 oh. what evidence oh there's it's so all... much man it's all circumstantial not really what about the stingray craft that was flying in costa rica just a couple of weeks ago that was uh, really this is a couple of months ago that's irrefutable evidence that these things exist it's um, irrefutable have you seen it you couldn't fake it how would you fake it I don't know. Some of those, hey, some hey, of those hey. Marvel movies look pretty real. <laughs> Transformers comes out tomorrow. That looks pretty real. Yeah, case closed. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when the B two bomber was first revealed, you know, uh, people couldn't believe what they were seeing. And of course, same as F one seventeen. Remember that same thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and then a lot of people said, "Also, oh, that's what I saw." Uh, or they answer a lot of questions. So. Uh, I don't know what the, until I've seen, you know, in the light of day, you know, whatever it is, this, this thing you saw in, where is it, Argentina? What, until, Costa Rica. Until, okay, Costa Rica. And until we see the actual thing, it could be, it could have just been, you know, some, um, I don't know, parachute uh, glider guy uh, who was mistaken in a, in a grainy picture or something it was in the wrong angle. I don't know. The, you can uh, explain uh, a lot of it away for sure. Yeah, look, 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 there's no question about that. Uh, well, so come on, show me. Listen, these these stories have been around, you know, ever since I was a kid, at least, you know, 50 years. World War, 
it all it all kind of really started uh, with the Foo Fighters in World War II, right? That really kind of kicked off, you know, uh, this, this that whole industry, uh, and 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 Hollywood's been all over uh, that. Uh, that industry but yeah kind of i'll push back on that a little bit you know in in the modern kind of lexicon if you like or the modern consciousness for sure once once we started dropping a-bombs that's actually when we started to appear.